Jennifer Hall lives her life on the road. She has no fixed address and it's the transient life that has led her to discover some of the most beautiful parts of our region with camera in hand. A focus on the small community of Urbanville will be exhibited digitally tomorrow at the Crown Hotel in Urbanville and Amber joins us now to talk a bit more about this exhibition. Hi Amber. Good morning Christy. How I'm very well. Thank you for your time this morning. What an incredible journey you've been on. Tell me a bit about Urbanville and the surrounding area and what lured you to that part of the world? Ah, oh, the Urbanville is probably the friendliest town I have come across. Uh, amazingly beautiful people and the landscape here is reflected in that. I, I originally came here about six weeks ago um, to camp in a particular campsite um, just on that, just on the fringe of town, like 100 metres from the main um, block, to see the autumn deciduous trees turn red. And that was the whole goal, because I knew that path was here, and I knew I could camp there for at least a couple of weeks. And in being there, I drove around and went, wow, look at these volcanic plugs. Look at these rainforests. Look at this. I can't capture this in two weeks. <laughs> I'm going to need some more time. <laughs> days. Six weeks later... <laughs> Six weeks later, lots of photos, and you've pretty much fallen in love with Urbanville by the sounds. Yeah, yeah, I have. I've got some wonderful new friends there. It's just gorgeous, yeah. Wonderful. Now, you're, you've obviously been a photographer for some time, and I know you use drones as part of your, your work as well, but this <laughs> exhibition that you've, you've pulled together, you're doing it digitally. Have you ever done something like this before? Uh, not a digital one. No, this is this is a uh, this is a, a new thing for a number of reasons. One, when you go when you do a print exhibition, you have to have a good a good four weeks lead time for the printing. Yeah, right. And and I wasn't, you know, I'm, I've got clients, you know, I've got clients who are, who are wanting me to be like in Moree, you know, in in a couple of weeks, and I it's like I can't wait for printing. So how can I how can I make this work, and how can I how can I show the local, local community some of the shots that I'm taking and some of the beauties that I'm seeing so that I can help them fall in love with the region again, so I can help them see it with fresh eyes and go, wow, that's why we're here. That's why we're out in the, you know, away from the city in this beautiful area. Thank you. You know, that, that's what I want to share. And, and doing, it, doing it digitally, I'm still editing, Chris. I've still got <laughs> shots. Of, you know, and it's like I'm trying to limit it to 30 images, but... I'm at 35, it's like, oh, how many is too many? Yeah. You know, I go, well, that one's just beautiful. That one has to go in, so which one's going out? That's a nice problem <laughs> to have, isn't it? Ha having too many beautiful yeah. images. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so how are you going to do the exhibition itself? Tell me how it works. Okay, so we've, uh, we're at the Crown Hotel and they've got this big high-bed uh, TV up on the wall and we're going to, I'm um, basically going to, you know, at, at this point we're marketing fairly widely, as you know, but... We're, we're hoping for a, a good crowd, even though Urbanville's a, a very small community. We've got people coming down from Brisbane, as far as I know. So we're, I'm going to be telling people a little, about, a little bit about me, because people seem to find it interesting, you know, the nomadic lifestyle. Yeah. And, look, I, see, I haven't been a photographer for long. You know, I've got a, I've got a background in, in community development and, and um, systems advocacy and, and horticulture, you know. Like, um, a year ago, I was... I was still working in Bangor at the Living Classroom running their plant nursery as a horticulturalist. So I actually cut my teeth on photography at Bangor. Yeah, right, OK. But, but, and more as a hobby, I suppose, initially, was it? Well, I bought the drone um, back in the end of 2020 and I, and I bought a good drone. I went, well, if you're going to spend this on a camera, Amber, you, have to, you have to commit to professionalising. and. Yeah. Then I started working with Gwaita Shire Council at the Living Classroom and, and my focus went into that, food production, plant production and horticulture, you know, because um, I've, I've, you know, I've got that as a background as well. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, we, we folded that up a year ago and I went, right, well, now's the time for the photography. So it's been about a year that I've been focusing on, right, let's, let's do this, let's do it. You know, let's smash this, basically. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> let's class. Yeah, wonderful. So, I mean, of course, ex ex the exhibition digitally, it's happening tomorrow at the Crown Hotel, so at Urbanville. So people can just kind of come along, watch the exhibition digitally, yep. and then, you know, they can, of course, order prints following yep. the exhibition. Yeah, yeah. So it's a one-show only. So it's only going to go for that hour or hour and a half that I'm speaking and showing. So it's not going to be like your normal exhibition running for two weeks, not at all. 
It's one show only, one hour. 5 p.m. Crown Hotel or the until tomorrow. Brilliant. I mean, I've seen some of the beautiful images you've captured, Amber, but what are some of the, the standout ones for you? I mean, I know you mentioned you're struggling to, to narrow them down, but what, what are some of the things you've captured that's really kind of taken your breath away or, or that you're really oh, excited yeah. by? Yeah, look, I, I took a... I, I got up um, at dawn a, a week ago and there was ice on the windshield. It was that cold. <laughs> but I had to get out because I knew the sunlight was going to be right. The mist was there, so I, I knew the shots. I knew where I wanted to go because I scouted the area. So I went to the spot where I where I was going to take the shot, and I had permission from the landowner to, to fly the drone over his paddock. What I didn't know was that there was a pond in that paddock oh. that had the reflection of the Crown uh, Mountain, this vol beautiful volcanic plug just on the on the uh, side of town, had the reflection in it with some ducks on it, and it had this beautiful mist and this gorgeous light, and I was like, oh, catch that, don't lose it. So I, I got that, and that was just, you know, once I put that through Lightroom and Photoshop, it all it all popped, and it was like, oh, that's wow. one of the best so far. And that, you know, that that image captures that moment, and I, oh, I can't wait to share it with more people. Oh, I, I, I'm really interested to, to hear about the reaction from the locals because, you, you know, mm. you mentioned kind of helping people fall back in love with their community because I think no matter where you live, you know, the day-to-day, -day, uh, the, the mundane of the day-to-day, -day, the, the getting to work, the getting the kids to school, you know, you kind of often get caught up in in, in life and, and don't really take that time to kind of stop and, and appreciate where you live. Yeah, totally. I agree totally. And, and I, think, I think good photography is a way to ground ourselves back into the reality of where we are or where we want to be. Yeah. Well, Amber, it's been great to talk to you this morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, just to recap, the Crown Hotel, Urbanville, tomorrow, Saturday, the 3rd of June, 5 o'clock? Yes, yes, 5 o'clock. And, and anyone can kind of turn up? You don't, they don't need to RSVP or...? Turn up, turn up. You've got, um, yeah, there's, there's plenty of space for everybody, absolutely. Good on you, yeah. Amber. Great to talk to you this morning. Thank you for joining us. Good on you. Thank you. That is Amber Hall there. Uh, her digital exhibition yeah, launching at the Urbanville, in Urbanville at the Crown Hotel tomorrow, five o'clock. And uh, yeah, some beautiful photos. Uh, she sent me some a sneak peek of some of those photos. So uh, if you're listening from that area, I mean, she mentioned people travelling for it. Uh, beautiful little Urbanville captured by Amber. Uh, drones and her photography as well.